Hello everyone, Alan Wake 2 Lake House DLC has dropped pretty recently and we are, well, I mean, technically I've already played it. I just forgot to record an intro beforehand, but I'm about to show you guys the Lake House DLC. We're going to do it all in one video. It's going to be a long one, but any of you guys who are big fans of Alan Wake 2 um, or Control or just Remedies properties in general like me, then this is the video for you and this was really fun i am going to be reading everything kind of trying to explore everything taking it all in and so if you guys are into that then you guys are going to really love this playthrough i hope i played the base game of alan wake 2 on hard difficulty so i think these dlcs are matching up to that i'm not really sure because when i boot up the dlcs they don't ask me what difficulty so i'm kind of curious um if it just does what you did for the base game or if there's like no difficulty levels and it's just like one difficulty if you know let me know i'm curious but anyways hope you guys enjoy alan wake 2 lake house dlc and i will see you guys in the comments and enjoy This isn't the Bureau's first time in Bright Falls. 1970, 76, 8. Last one was in 2010. It's not exactly clockwork, but this town sees way more altered world events than most. We knew it was just a matter of time before the lake acted up again. After the AWE in 2010, the FBC's research department set up a facility the lake house to study the threshold in cauldron lake find better ways to contain the entity inside your tax dollars at work when we detected a spike in paranatural activity at cauldron lake before i even knew you were on this case saga the lake house was my first stop i was shorthanded hoped they could spare some help maybe give us some intel on the situation if I had any clue what was waiting for us in there, Saga, I just kept on driving. This is Agent Kieran Estevez responding to an AWE alert in the vicinity. I need to speak with the Marmons. So much for the welcome wagon. You all set up the perimeter. We're on the threshold's doorstep, so keep your eyes peeled. Yes, ma'am. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Speak to Dr. Marmont and Dr. Marmont. Hello. Agent Kieran Estevez requesting entry. They're not gonna let you in. I don't have time for this. ID card. This shouldn't take long, okay? You see anything? Radio me. Oh man, what are my controls again? <laughs> Damn it! Hi, Clamp. Hi, Nadim. Happy Halloween. The lake house was run by the research department. Research and investigations don't really see eye to eye. What they call science. I call a violation of bureau protocol and human decency. Classic interdepartmental drama, your FBI saga, you know how it goes. Now, in retrospect, my low opinion of the research department may have clouded my judgment. 
I'm getting back into the atmosphere already. Um... Okay, pulled out my flashlight. Didn't mean to use the charge, but... Gun. Oh, this is my flashlight button. And this is my dodge. I guess that should get me... How do I run? Right here? going to check out the, you know, we're going to go off the beaten path just a little bit. Though I don't think there's much out here. So I'm, I'm sorry for wasting all of our time. Here's a bench. That looks like our entrance. Oh, let's check this out. FPC. Hey, Joe, welcome in. Department. Well, this looks very no FGC. The individual carrying a firearm into a restricted government facility. No. Nobody's here. Okay. Well, it was definitely going in the report. Okay, you know what time it is. It's reading time. Urgent reminder, lake safety protocols. Please remember that the following recreational activities are forbidden in the waters of Cauldron Lake. These restrictions apply to both civilians and FBC employees. Fishing, redacted, swimming, boating applies to canoes, kayaks, motorized boats, etc. Using the water for redacted purposes. Water skiing, redacted in the water. Paddle birding. You know what? I did not miss all this redacted shit that the FBC does. I really didn't. These activities can result in redacted in an estimated redacted percent of cases. If you are unclear about any of the restrictions listed above, please speak with redacted. I'm unclear about everything and I'm unclear about who to speak with. So this, there's a problem here. Okay. Regarding local rumors, background, a recent Security operation was performed among the citizens of Bright Falls and Watery. The goal of this operation was to ascertain public knowledge and opinion of the lake house and its operations. Summary. The following information was gained through covert listening and informal questioning. The local public appeared to view the area around the lake house with fear. This is, of course, the intended reaction as the Bureau has publicly marked the area as dangerous due to volcanic gases. However, there is a specific rumor among the public regarding a government facility in the woods run by mad scientists taking people for experimentation. This rumor seems particularly popular among the local youth, and its proximity to the truth is cause to concern. Worst case outcome would be an increase in curiosity or possibly even aggression. It is possible this is even the reason for the lake house's security breach back in Redacted. Action to be taken, security personnel will continue to monitor youth chatter. If the rumors continue, disseminating a cover story may be required, perhaps even fabricated signage for an American Volcano Commission type institution. Rumors of people being taken for experiments? And the proximity to the truth of that is worrisome? FBC, what are you doing? Who? <laughs> who's 
<laughs> Whose desk is this? Somebody's uh, really loving their cherry frosted donuts or whatever. Maybe it's strawberry. Maybe it's just pink frosting. Pistachios. Okay, I know we've talked about this in the past. But I <laughs> like this person has a bunch of coffee mugs. Like what is going on? <laughs> I always love the detail that they they do with their um just decorating everything. Uh like n you know, it's not necessarily interactable. It's not part of the story it's just flavor and it's it's so interesting and fun and it just this person has crumpled up paper it's kind of weird that everything is out in a circle though like is there some kind of significance to that we have a circle of mugs circle of crumpled up papers circle of donuts are you in the circle cult too, mister? Or ma'am? What about you? What's this? FBC. That's the circle squad back there in that corner. Nobody nobody else wants to mess with them or even get near them. They're they're the weirdos of the office, I guess. Okay, from Ava Ramani to FBC personnel. Subject, status update regarding the oldest house. To all staff, on-site observation teams report that the oldest house is still under active lockdown. Status of Director Trench, management team, and all other personnel inside the oldest house at the time of the lockdown's initialization remains unknown. Well, I have some bad news for you guys. Observation teams have detect, uh, detected fluctuations in the... Okay, I see a bunch of redacted, and I'm just not even going to read the rest of this. I'm not playing your redacted games. Okay, who are these people? Oh, circle of pencils. Circle of pencils. There's some kind of demonic cult going on in here. Don't know who those people are. An experiment that bodes well. And this is why it takes me twice as long to finish a game than anybody else. <laughs> this is exactly why. That's handy. Ooh, I get a map. Doctor Marmont. Oh, those two must be the Marmont Marmonts. I keep wanting to say Marmot, like. That's an animal, right? Experiment in progress. Dr. Marmont here to remind you to put in 100% effort today. Look, it's look at this. What is this, guys? What is this? It's a circle. Security, safety, censorship. Remember the three S's. Security, safety, censorship. S, S. Clearly not an S. This place is just disturbing me. And any accompanied artist must be reported to security immediately. Artist. Unaccompanied artist. And welcome to another exciting day here at the Lake House. As I'm sure you know, I am Dr. Jules Marmont, and this is my wife, Dr. Diana Marmont. And together and we, we are, are the, the heads, heads of, of research, research at, at this facility. facility. <laughs> <laughs> we want to thank you all for helping us it. break new ground in our study of Cauldron Lake. That's right, Jules, but don't let our exciting work in threshold regulation and 
dimensional coupling keep you from observing the proper safety protocols? You said it, Diana. We run a tight ship here at the lake house. So, always remember the three S's. Safety, security, and censorship. The C. <laughs> the C. That's what I said. <laughs> yeah. That is the joke, Diana. Well, it's a stupid, f wonderful joke, Jules. We'll see you down there. <laughs> yeah, that seems healthy. <laughs> Never change, Remedy. Never change. <laughs> they dubbed, they had to dub over that last bit there. Okay. Um, co head of research, Dr. Jules Marmont. Mar Marmont. Dr. Marmont's not here. Whoops. Nobody is. I'll have to check downstairs. Okay, we got a picture. Barrows University. Degree of Doctor of Applied Science. Exceptional Contribution Certificate is awarded to Dr. Uh, uh, Jules Francois Marmont. FBC Special Server Certificate in grateful recognition of his astounding... You must all be working on the lower levels. Outstanding contributions to the Bureau's scientific endeavors. Oops. One more, one more, one more. Notice of appointment from Dr. Casper Darling, Head of Research. The senior leadership of the FBC has determined to appoint Dr. Jules Marmont as Head of Research at the facility at Cauldron Lake, Washington. The appointment will be shared with Diana Marmont, effe effective upon the facility's completion on July 18th. Zachariah Trench, Casper Darling. Oh my goodness, what is this? To my new fellow head of the lake house. Love, Diana. Wait, wait, wait. So I, I'm, I'm so proud of myself that I got my husband a belt like a really nice quality belt and and now she's just making me feel like shit because she got him like an a custom made carved bust statue of himself and now i have to get husband one of these Wow, what a great view. Oh man, look at the view that you have here, Dr. Marmont. That is nice. That is so nice. Changing passwords, huh? Spoilers! Update to computers uh, passwords reset policy. Effective September 13th, all computer passwords must be reset daily to address security concerns. We are aware this may be an inconvenient change. We recommend using a permanent set of digits at, as the beginning of the password, followed by numbers that change daily. Try using significant personal dates, coordinates, etc. Do not use birthdays, the current date, phone numbers, etc. Um, passwords are not to exceed six digits. Okay. Um... Hold on, I'm not ready for all that yet. Okay, science fact of the day, September 14th, 2023, Thursday. Though most famous for acting, Hedy Lamarr also invented in her free time. She patented a frequency hopping device for torpedo guidance systems at the age of 38. 38? Replacement key card request form. Please fill out the fields below. Name, Jules Marmont. Required clearance, the highest one. I forgot what it's called. Reason for replacement, my old card went missing. Indicate here if your card was stolen. How would I know if it is stolen or lost? Why do you not put microchips inside to follow them if you are so concerned with this? I'm the head of research and I expect a new card on my desk by the end of work. End of the work day. Uh oh. Somebody must have gotten that card. Okay, regarding subject P. 
through extensive testing, the subject has been confirmed to possess an intrinsic paranatural ability that manifests exclusively during the act of painting. The paintings feature scenes or events he would have no knowledge of, even sometimes painting an event before it occurs. This effect has been proven multiple times and has estimated 40 to 100% success rate. Note the lack of precision in this range is due to the team's inability to prove that a painting's content will not be realized at some point in the eventual future. Researchers asked to reiterate, reiterate their hesitance to publish any concrete statements surrounding the subject and his ability at this time as the nature of the paintings and their paranatural effect have been exceptionally difficult to measure and quantify. Conclusion: The, sus the suspect is suspected to be a Class II para-utilitarian. Though additional testing will be required to confirm this, at this time his ability is not believed to be a direct threat to himself or others and can be controlled. The nature of his ability is to show current or future events via the art he creates, but the extent of this forecasting cannot be determined by researchers with any high level of precision. Unlike the art created by Alan Wake, there is no evidence the subject's art is directly manipulating reality via the shadow's energies. Okay, so somewhere in this room is going to be some information that we're going to be able to use for our password here. The six-digit password. And we're looking for numbers. Any numbers? Any numbers? July 18th. 07... One eight thirty nine thirty eight. Let's try it. O seven one eight. That would be the the part of the password that always stays the same, and then the thirty nine is gonna be the one that changes. No. Oh wait, it's thirty eight. O seven eighteen. 38. I'm a genius. Unlock door. Mail! Ooh, mail! Annual budget from H. Kingston to the Marmonts. Good morning. A friendly reminder that proposed annual budgets need to be sent out by the end of this month. Every station is being asked to give a thorough breakdown this year. In an effort to find areas where spending can be reduced. Should I book a time for us to speak about this and make a plan? Dr. Uh, Marmont, Mar Marmont says, I'm too busy to attend meetings. Just use the budget from last year. But make sure to specify that a specific percentage of the research budget is to go towards Project Arbitus. So certain individuals won't be tempted to slow down their competition by stealing resources. From, uh, oh, wait. So the D, what is her? Diane? What were their names again? This is from the, the, the wife. Just used from last year. Um, and then the mister says, I apologize for the difficulty my wife is presenting, Harry. I believe she is suggesting that I would take her project's budget an unfair and preposterous accusation. Though I am confident you understand that, I would be happy to meet and discuss the annual budget budget. It is, of course, the head of research's job to oversee such work. Maybe Diana is no longer up to the task? It sounds like their marriage was not doing too well. Like, oh, go fuck yourself, Jules. <laughs> okay. So, H. Kingston, he's, he's like, okay, I'm just going to ignore all that. So, does next Wednesday work? Page's request from P. Levine. Dr. Marmont, Project Arbitus has officially requested we return the pages. We aren't using them for any work on Project Ramnus, and they are shared research materials, so can I release them back to Arbitus? Sincerely, um, Dr. Perry Levine. Uh, that, that message was not answered. 
And then from yesterday, security reminder. Hello, please remember to lock your computer before leaving your station for any amount of time. Changing your password daily does not improve our facility's security. If you leave your computer open, thank you, Brian Lopez, IT specialist. So Jules stopped sending out messages a week ago, but IT is still going. The Lake House Daily. Good news. HQ is still dark. Die was good. More pie for the... Oh, pie was good. <laughs> Die was good. <laughs> and I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> pie was good. Um, And then someone says nut allergy bad. And then, well, more pie for the rest of us. We have coffee. And Deer Fest is this week. Oh, Deer Fest is always a great time. Nothing bad ever happens around Deer Fest. Bad news, HQ is still dark. Nut allergy. No Ama beer. It's good. I tried it. The artist is redacted. Someone stole the black whiteboard marker <laughs> as they write in red. All vacation time canceled. I'm loving this already. I love all the little details and, and touches that they, they always put in these. Uh, the emails are always fun. Ramness Daily Stand Up. No doodling. Do not concentrate. Oh, do not contaminate the lake house with unrelated art. Figurines, ornaments. Decorations and other trinkets are forbidden on employee desks. Wow, this place sucks. I bet Diana or whatever her name is made that rule. She seems to be like a no fun allowed person. I'm miserable in my marriage. I'm married to this eccentric fuckwad and everybody else has to be miserable. Those are the vibes I'm getting. Okay, what's this room? Look at the cat. Kitty cat. Power core transport and handling techniques, level wide lockdown protocol and procedures. This must be like the security area or something. This should come in handy. What'd I get? A key card? Hey, there's a shoe. Who's missing a shoe? One single lonely shoe. To the lower levels? We're on the ground floor. Let's go to as soon the first as I basement. Got in that elevator, my bad news detector started going nuts. Uh oh. Estevesta team, something's going on in the lake house. I want all nearby agents to. Oh shit! Come on. Okay, well, I'm sure, I'm sure this is fine. Breach detected on sub-level 5. 
Staff should seek shelter immediately. We have a situation in the lake house. All agents converge on the facility now. Oh my god. Belay that order. Where's the fucking elevator? Um. Okay, okay. Priority one, get the lights on. Standing around in the dark near Cauldron Lake, you're not smart? No, I think being anywhere near Cauldron Lake, not smart. What the fuck was that? Painting production. Um... Should I be on the left side or the right side of the screen? It's like you guys can't see my items. Do you care? Threshold linking experiment progress report by Dr. Jules Marmont. The work to create a stable link between our reality and that of the redacted continues. Progress is good with all teams reporting high confidence that a successful connection will soon be possible. They want to create a link between our reality and... and what? Recent efforts in utilizing the paintings produced by Subject P to adjust reality in such a way that achieves our goals were unsuccessful. However, this result allowed us to discard that avenue of research and focus slowly, solely on a much more viable one. Our new hypothesis states that the threshold's energies, and thus its reality-altering effect, are drawn to pieces of art that contain significant level of emotion. I lost my place. Oh, this is supported by a clear trend in the data we have gathered over the years. If we can identify and quantify the emotion of an art piece, our work will speed up considerably. Work has already proceeded with an immediate focus on developing devices capable of measuring the level of emotion in any given piece of art. For now, our research will continue to focus so solely on the art produced by Subject P, while no pieces of his have yielded, yielded successful results outside of their assistance in discovering the redacted pages, his proven status as a para-utilitarian makes his work the most suitable research material. Research order. As the Lake House continues to make progress towards its goal, various avenues of research are being pursued. Recently, one such avenue has yielded yielded unexpected results. The research into nursery rhymes, directed by Dr. and Dr. Marmont, led by Dr. Campbell, as an art form, has shown viability in its ability to connect with the lake, uh, Cauldron Lake threshold. As a result, the nursery rhyme findings will now be carried forward by the co-heads of research and incorporated into ongoing research across the lake house, effective immediately. Research teams will be briefed on how to utilize the effective elements of the nursery rhymes into their own work. Note, Dr. Campbell and his team are being reassigned. They will continue to develop their work on nursery rhymes outside the lake house. Any exposure risks related to performing confidential work outside the facility's premises have been acknowledged and accepted by the co-heads of research. So I wonder if they were trying to... Let me go back to this really quick. Create a stable link between our reality and that of... Is it the dark place? 
I mean, that would make sense given the location of this facility. I don't know why they w anybody would want to do that, though. That sounds very dangerous. Very dangerous indeed. Alright. We can save. That's always good. Young, thank you for gifting a sub to... Oops. Hey, Ramus, what's up? A link between worlds? <laughs> indeed, indeed. <gasps> Darling. Darling! Where are you? Are you okay? Is he okay? Okay, he doesn't do a damn thing without power. Noted. Noted. I'll have to come back to that. Oh, for painting. Duh. Uh, all these walls are making me feel lost. It's almost like a maze. Maybe we can turn the power on in here. That is not a regulation FPC weapon. Find a way to get the gun? saw it, there was only one way out. Identify the source of the event and contain or eliminate it. No. Good news. I just had to keep going down. Bad I'm, news? I wanted to read. The elevator liked to disappear. Yeah, that's a problem. Bingo. That key card's gonna get me to sub-level five. Progress update number six. Unfortunately, Jules' key card went missing last night. Huge shame. On a totally unrelated note, I now have a level three clearance card in my office, plus a lot of black rock. Been grinding the black rock down to a powder and stashing around in case any gets confiscate confiscated. Next steps, weapon tests using black rock powder. If successful, maybe send schematics to offsite teams could lead to a transfer out of this shithole. Need to think up more applications for Blackrock now that I have some. There was a researcher at the um, oldest house who had tons of ideas like this. Wish I could remember their name. Shit, I can't remember. Can't open it from the side. What is this for? No wait to try to figure out where I need to put that. Uh, 
This key card won't get me in. Jurat. Ooh. I got... What did I get? Ooh, here's a map. Power core. Panel control switch. Container? I missed a container in the break room. Point of interest. Ground floor. Empty. like maybe where I put the power core. There's sounds that don't sound like good sounds happening. Let there be light. Hey, we got the power working. It's still the dark. Elevator's back. Still very dark. Give me a flare. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. Nope, it's not empty. Quick save. Okay, so I did that. Um. Aha. First off, a huge thank you to everyone here. Uh, the Lake House has made amazing strides in researching the AWE here at Cauldron Lake. Great work, team. I wanted to come in person so I, I could check in on the latest work. I, I, I won't get in the way. It's, it's not our view, so no reason to be scared. Did you hear that, Dr. Smarmont? <laughs> While I'm here, I, I, I want to focus on the relationship between the shadow and the AWE site below the lake. The theory that the shadow even originates from the dimension this threshold is tapping into is compelling. Ev eventually, I want to understand how this dimension manages to convert subjective elements like art into objective reality. What are the constraints of this phenomenon? Can it say, create altered items or even objects of power simply by manifesting them via a piece of art? These are the things we need to know to accurately classify the shadow. I mean, that, that name is not very scientific. I mean, who came up with that? Shadow. So, any <laughs> and all who did come up with that? Uh, anything testing art's effect on reality by using the shadow's energy is preferred. Uh, to find answers, we'll, we'll, we'll first need uh, a, a lot of data. No wrong answers. And when I return to the oldest house, I'll take 
back anything we end up with to run against a classified project called Hedron to build a comparative data set. Why, I wish, I wish I could tell you more. It's a very, very exciting non-physical forces impact. No, no, no sorry, I, I really can't, it is. You know what, maybe some of you can come visit. We'll have to get you clearance, of course, but if that would, maybe that can, <clears throat> you know what, I, 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 I don't wanna, take the entire day talking, so. The shadow represents a whole new area of research and I, I couldn't be more excited to start digging in. It is a great new world, people. Oh, darling. Never change. Never change. Yeah, we know how that Hedron experiment went. It did not go too well. We can do this now. Okay, I saw some movement over there. Also heard something that didn't sound very nice. Oh, this computer's on now. More emails! From B. Lopez to staff. Hello, please remember to ro lock your computer. Oh, okay. That's, yeah, that's, that's that one. Uh, one month ago. Pi Day from Jules Marmont. Hello, to celebrate the arrival of fall, I have brought a variety of seasonal pies from that local diner you all seem to love so much. The members of Project Ram... Ramness can come enjoy them in the lobby near my office. All other staff should visit the other Dr. Marmont's office to see if she brought pie. Also, <laughs> I want you guys to all remember that I am the I am the Marmont who gives you pie. And um, well, my wife, uh, just remember that she does not offer pie to you guys. So it's obvious who she, your favorite should be. Not that winch, am I right? <laughs> also, despite the ridiculous dramatics of last year, I have purchased the delicious pecan, pecan, pecan filled pies. Happy fall, Jules Marmont. Sensitivity reminder from Kingston to staff. Hello, a gentle reminder that nut allergies are a serious health issue and making light of them is not appropriate workplace behavior for anyone of any seniority level. Bringing nuts to the office is a health risk and should be avoided for everyone's safety. Oh. So last year they had drama with whatever pie and so this year he brought nut filled pie and then that caused more drama. From Jules to Perry. Do not release any of those pages. Tell Diana and those fools on Project Arbitus that we misplaced them. An unfortunate filing accident. Tell them we are confident the pages will resurface in two or three weeks, but we are too busy making progress to look for them right now. Be sure you say that we are making progress, just as I wrote it above. Uh, from Jules to staff, attention, missing black rock. Attention all staff, there is a significant amount of black rock missing from sublevel 5. I expect there is a misunderstanding and someone has taken it to another floor by mistake. If you did this, respond to this message and we will fix the problem. Black rock is a precious material. We only have so much of it now with the old house being closed. Oldest house being closed. Well, we know that one person was... Um, like crushing it down and hiding it. Trying to, to save it. So I'm guessing that's where it went. Got turned into powder. Hmm. Was this hallway there before? I don't think it was. Or is this where we came from? I think this is where we came from, actually. I 
I don't know. Do I look like a person that knows things? No, I don't. against me or any action that can be perceived as hostile. Do I not have my gun equipped? Why can't I? Oh, I need to use my flashlight. I forgot how to play this game. Well, it doesn't really seem to be doing anything to him. No effect. No effect. Um, you know what? There we go. <laughs> uh. Oh, you're still there? Okay, the flashlight doesn't do anything against them. And now I'm kind of stuck. Am I supposed to... Oh, I'm kind of stuck now. This guy looks really creepy. put it back the way it was. So many bullets. You never really get used to the shit you see in this job, but true. You can learn techniques to adjust, to function. Take six deep breaths, then get to work. Find the source, collapse the threshold. sure if we should approach this if you can understand me i'm an agent of the federal bureau of control i can assist you if you take no hostile action against me or any action that can be perceived as hostile do you understand <laughs> What are you? So what kind of entity are you? You 
can speak. That means you probably imprinted on a person or retained some of your former self's information. Previously human, maybe? Okay, I can work with that. Are you hostile? I just had an unpleasant encounter with some other painted individuals. Any relation? What does that mean? Paint no brush a self portrait! Okay, hey, hey, calm down! Fire in his eyes and hands and bones! You need to cease all hostility right now! <gasps> yeah! Now. Uh. Now. Okay. Well. Bad news? That thing is really pissed off. Good news. Great. It didn't try to kill me. I think it tried to scare us to death and it Maybe almost stops. worked. All right. Well, where to now? Third floor? Angry living paintings are not typically on the Cauldron Lake bingo card. But something different was happening at the lake house, and I couldn't let it escape. Bright Falls didn't need this particular cherry on its already shitty Sunday. Three. Still haven't found anybody. Human. Anyways. Okay, music are really weird there. Is this, uh... Diana's office or whatever. That's very intense music. September 12, 2023. Notes regarding a page of our late manuscript I found in the archives. I checked the records and this page is not in our inventory. I believe it manifested inside the lake house directly. I won't be filing this page. It'll just send Jules into a panic. The page is written in Wake's usual style, so I can't say for certain if it's being literal or figurative when it calls us monsters. But what's interesting is that the page indicates that a painting succeeded in linking Cauldron Lake's threshold with our facility. Writing has always been a clearly superior avenue of research, but I never considered that the writing itself would dictate a different art form as a catalyst for our success. I cannot accept that. I can't allow Jules to stumble his way into success. Not after the years of work I put into this research. Word yesterday, the two writers are visiting Bright Falls. I will beat Jules to the finish line. What is her problem? Hey Jiffy, what's up? He's Samra Duran. Happy Halloween. Organizational update. Moving forward, research at the lake house will be divided into two distinct projects. Project X 10032AW, codename Arbitus, will focus on studying the writing of Redacted, with Diana Marmont serving as project director. Maybe Alan Wake? Um, project C, RL, codename Ramnus, will focus on studying Redacted in his work with Dr. Jules Marmont serving as project director. And I'm guessing that's the um, subject P or whatever, the guy who does the, the art. 
Staff will soon be notified regarding their project assignment and any required desk changes. Your patience is requested during this reorganization. This is a confidential facility matter and is not to be discussed with external agents or teams. If you have any questions, please contact me. Carrie Kingston, facility administrator. Diana and Jules Marmont had once been a team. Rising stars in the Bureau, both talented in their own way. Diana innovated and Jules got funding from the bureaucrats. Cooperation led to respect. Connection. Then after a decade of hard work, the happy couple were promoted. Co-heads of research. Their first years at the lake house were good. Challenging, but not insurmountable. Not for them. Gradually, thoughts fell into their heads like drops of dark water. Why does she get all the credit? Why does he get any credit? With that, a crack formed in the lake house. The Ramans and their work became arrogant, erratic. The crack widened and the water seeped in. So... Was... Alan... Assuming it was Alan, unless it was Scratch. Was he writing about how they became, or did they become that way because it was written that way? Words per sentence, style, character-centric, lane, past tense, clipped phrasing, higher adjective usage, focus on timeline. Diana and Jules Marmont have once been team. Uh, this is what Alan just said, or whoever that voice was. Diana and Jules Marmont had once been a team. Okay, sorry, I didn't mean to make you talk again. Rudolf Lane stood back from the canvas. He didn't recognize the piece. Did he paint this? His mind was foggy, unfocused. He knew the Marmonts were putting something in his food. A man in a white coat came to steer Lane back to his cell. He did not resist. He was too tired. He lay on the bed. But the stench in his cell wouldn't let him sleep. An acid stink. The turpentine. The paint. It was all over him. Years of it. A thousand paintings. A thousand more to come. A putrid weight he could never wash away. Cold hate simmered below the mist clogging his thoughts. Hatred for the paint, hatred for the brushes, for the Marmots, for himself. ATD Chief Technician. Oh, what's this room? Evaluation and grading. Can I come in? Can I come in? Refinement process regarding ATD output and calibration. The automated typing device ATD will produce writing mimicking that of Alan Wake, known para-utilitarian, para with the goal of affecting reality with the same consistency as Mr. Wake's writing. To reach this level of authenticity, each page produced by the ATDs must be evaluated and graded based on its similarity to Wake's original style. The pages will be graded using the following criteria. Comprehensibility. This is the most basic of criteria. The page must use language and develop stories in an understandable, organic way. Two, style. The page must accurately mimic the typing, the typical style of Wake's writing, using pages in the lake house's possession as references. Three, tone. The page must accurately mimic the typical tone of Wake's writing, using pages in the lake house's possession as reference. Content. Same thing, but for content. 
Once pages are graded, they will be fed into the algorithm as preferred reference material, thus continuously refining the writing produced by the ATDs until they can produce near identical stories to Alan Wake. Once that is achieved, we will provide instructions to the ATD on what to write, effectively gaining control of Wake's ability to link with the shadow's power. What the heck? What was Diana proposing to use this power for? So she wanted to be able to gain power from the shadow. Oh. You're not darling. You're not Casper darling. Go away. There was a crack in the lake house. It let the lake in, but the water could not flow. It became trapped, stagnant, went bad. The truth was controlled here. The art was not art, just content for the experiment. There was a crack in the lake house. The marmots had let the That's lake the same in, thing. but the water could not flow. Ooh, goodies. Trapped, stagnant, Give me the gimmies. Was Output here. Monday, Art Tuesday, Wednesday, Art. Thursday, Friday. Okay, well, I'm getting a lot of, um, stuff. But I haven't really had anything to shoot yet. Typewriters. Oh my I goodness. Don't let this be what I think it is. As it's you know by now, typewriters and Cauldron Lake do not mix. Mm. Them all clacking away. 100% bad news. Oh yeah. So these are automated typewriters and there's tons of them and they're all just churning out pages and pages and pages until they learn to mimic Wake's style. Whoa, that is freaky. Production archive. Progress report. Typewriter brand investigation. Investigation into the precise brand and model of typewriter used by Alan Wake with the intent to use this particular brand for blank uh, redacted and the ADTs continues to be unsuccessful. Sources contacted with discretion. Wake's publishing house, no useful information. Wake's agent, refused to discuss client matters. Wake's spouse, refused to discuss. Redacted, no useful information. Checked all available online interviews, publications, elements pertaining to Alan Wake. Result, no useful information. You wonder if this is supposed to be some sort of metaphor for the rise of AI art. It very well could, I could definitely see that. Hi, Bale. I could definitely see that, Clamp. Actually, now that you say it, it, me it makes like perfect sense, whether it's intentional or not. The relevant team will continue to explore alternative sources of information. The ADTs will continue, ATDs will continue to be operated with the available typewriters until Wake's preferred brand is known. Theoretically, replicating Alan Wake's style of writing via the same brand of typewriter used by the author should yield optimal results. The project director has indicated that a similar investigation should be launched into the brand and type of ink used in Wake's typewriter. I feel like they're... They're focusing on details that aren't important. Like, I don't think it's... I don't think what makes... Alan's writing like special or effective has anything to do with the brand 
of typewriter that he uses, you know, the coffee he drinks before he sits down to write, things like that. It, it's something else. I mean, maybe it has nothing to do with his writing style at all. Oh, I need level two clearance. Need a higher clearance key card. Hmm. What you writing? Mm, I could probably read that. Well, actually, yeah, I can read it. Status on. Machine status. Typing in progress. Please do not turn off the machine. Let's go down the row. What happened to this typewriter? They quit? That typewriter up and quit. I need level two security clearance there too. This is maintenance and repair. Oh, these must be the two typewriters that were not at their desk. Oh, there's more. I guess maybe that's where they got the painter guy from. Um, content of Wake Manuscript. We have begun to find pages from a manuscript very likely written by Alan Wake, very utilitarian and suspect in past cases involving the Cauldron Lake AWE. Though I do not like to bring myself or my biases into my work, I must do so here to address the matter being examined. As reference for any future readers, I am Dr. Diana Marmont, co-head of research at the Lake House facility. The page we recently found summarizes my life with Jules Marmont, husband and co-researcher. <coughs> it has turned us into characters for its story, making generalizations and assumptions that I must attempt to evaluate without emotion or prejudice. The accuracy of the writing is intriguing. It reports our past in the bureau, but also details inner thoughts that an outside recorder would have no way of knowing. Jules and I have been indeed have indeed been having more and more interpersonal conflict this past year. This raises many questions. How does Wake, wherever he is writing this from, get his information? Or was the page itself determining these emotions and events? I cannot believe that the scope of Wake's ability goes so far as to have dictated my entire career at the FBC. And if it did, would it matter? Even if a person knew their life was being driven by an external force, would it change their nature, their behavior, their personality? My disagreements with Jules are not sudden shifts in personality, but rather a growing resentment. I firmly believe that though I have no evidence to prove it, which brings me to a new research query for our team. What methodology, me methodology 
can one use to prove that their actions, their mind, their love, or animosity are theirs to control? Well, she seems to be taking it pretty well that, like, her actions and her thoughts are being controlled by somebody else. Like, that possibility. These paintings are back. <sighs> Shit. Oh dear. Ooh. I can Shotgun. never say no to extra firepower. Indeed not. I added it to my... Oh, it's right here. Okay. Who's this? Okay, things are gonna start getting dangerous. We see dead bodies and we have a shotgun now. Back where I started. Spatial recurrence. Usually observes the law of three. Make sense of Wake's writing. Compounding, reflecting, and refracting. An urban legend and a murder in constant imbalance. Cause and effect hopelessly tangled. Does sound like what, something he would write. Arranged wrong, the dream logic flawed, the feedback loop doubled and regarding Edward Franklin control. Booker, the Project Arbitus. Born in New York, New York, currently resides in New York. Married to Tamitha Booker, no known, whoa, 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 no known children or dependents. No paracriminal affiliations found. Located in Bright Falls, Washington, as of uh, not, uh, September 10th, 2023. Writer and director of five stage plays, unsuccessful. Confirmed artist, designation, author, playwright. Disclaimer, background investigation performed in a very short amount of time per instruction. As a result, the information contained in this report is not comprehensive and possibly erroneous. Can I shut her up? Can I turn this damn thing off? Like, I'm trying to read here, lady. We only need to hear you talk once. That's it. You, you may be quiet now. Hi, Cicada. I look like your ex. You're... you dated to be? That's cool. Okay. Regarding Tamitha Madison Booker, born in Atlanta, Georgia, currently residing in New York, married to Edwin... Edward Franklin Booker. Um, no paracriminal affiliations, located in Bright Falls. Author of three commercially successful true crime books. First publication was a poetry collection, Unsuccessful. Confirmed designation, author, poet. Disclaimer, background investigation performed in a very short amount of time per instruction. As a result, the information contained is not comprehensive, possibly erroneous.
Okay. Back to the typewriters. Yeah. Take so long to reload. That's not good. I'm trying to remember how to play this game. Hello? Oh my god, oh my god. Wait, I thought I healed. Oh, my heal. Oh, I didn't hit the button, the right button. Oh my gosh. one oh my god i'm dead A heal left at least there's that i tried to use the second one but it didn't go off i forgot how long it takes to like use items and things like that and this is like it's uh it's a long reloading and everything it's definitely not not very instantaneous is it at least we can restock. Looks like we can restock here. Reload our pistol. Whew. <laughs> you don't like the sound design, Zanzibar? Uh, for that particular room, I definitely understand. That lady would not stop talking. I was trying to read. And in the background is like, bruh, 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 bruh. <laughs> like, chill. I'm trying to read my chat a story right now. <coughs> oh gosh, remind me not to strain my voice like that. I will do it again though. Okay, map. I want to get all the containers. Is 
says there's one. Maybe it's in this room. <laughs> oh, here. No, that's not a container. Um, uh, I'm confused. container right here <coughs> can't go back out Oh my god, these typewriters. Here we are. Here we go. Oh, it's empty. This looks familiar, doesn't it? Well, it is the rule of three, after all. Should be a container. Containers that are showing up on my map, I just can't find them. Loop three should be the last one. I keep coming back to this page. The author's clearly awake. It's like he's warning us, but about what? I mean, what does it mean? <laughs> this page scared Jules away from the work on Wake's writing. is proof that we are going in the right direction. I just need these paintings to lead to more pages so that hopefully one day we can understand. <clears throat> I keep coming back to this page. The author's clearly awake. It's like he's warning us. Okay. At least we don't have to read anything else next to her yapping this time. I keep coming back to <sighs> okay. We don't have much fla mini flares and things. The typewriters are kind of quiet. to be, keep, keep going that way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, let's just go down the middle. Like good little FBC girls. But this place is sure a mess, isn't it? So bad making our way through. Oh, that doesn't look good. That that doesn't look good at all. We gotta go back out a long way. Where does this go? What happens if we put it here? Is there any reason we would want to do that? to get the key card and gun proceed through the spatial recurrence where am i i don't even see myself on the map Because these things are busted, right?
can I do it? Oh. This wasn't here before. Oh, it's our friend again. What happened to you? What happened to you? Did the people here do this to you? Is that Lake? Hi, Lizard. How are you? Um, what did the Mormon Marmons do? You said Marmons before. Do they do this? Where are they now? Tell me where they are. Christ. It's fixated on the Marmons. What did they do? Okay. this is that just a, just a glitch I still haven't gotten the level 2 key card and I'm not sure where to go to get it let's go back to the second floor I don't know a threshold is the connection between a foreign reality and our own now they all have their own rules strange as they are but the further down I went the more chaotic this one got. Clearly, this was the Cauldron Lake threshold, but something was wrong. Well, more wrong than usual. Sublevel 2. Level wide lockdown in effect. Please remain calm. Level wide lockdown in effect. We got an auto save. Somebody over there. And that's empty. That's great. I wonder what happened here. Where did all that uh, guy's paintings go? Jules Marmont looked at the painting. He didn't understand it. So only random worlds of color. Drugging Lane made him more compliant, but his work had turned abstract. Jules needed more art his team could parse, could test, trial and error. These abstract explosions of color complicated the data. His grip tightened around the letter opener in his hand. The piece of art he needed was hidden inside Lane. If Jules could simply cut the painter open and pull the painting out of him, he would. The overhead lights flickered. Jules would make Lane cooperate. No more drugs. Less carrot, more stick. Jules had to go faster. He wouldn't lose to Diana. Nothing else mattered. Oh my gosh, what did they do to this poor guy? I can't paint anymore. I know you want me to paint, but I can't. I'm empty. Rodolf, now you love to paint. And you are such a talent. This is just the classic artist's slump. No. No. I I hate it. It's just taking from me now. When can I leave? You said you'd let me leave. Ah, oh, Rudolf, but you weren't here to come, remember? We are helping you. Like Dr. Hartman did. Perhaps 
you need to see our doctor? I can arrange that. No. No, that's... I am feeling better. Much better. I, I will paint. Ah, this is wonderful to hear, Rudolf. I knew you would come back to your old self. Yeah, after you threatened him. <clears throat> Project Remnus. Rudolph Lane, subject P, has shown a decline in redacted over the last several months. Initially, this redacted presented as an increase in resistance, frequently declining requests to work. However, given time and pressure, subject would always relent. Subject's attitude toward art has also undergone a change recently. He is disinterested in his work, quickly becoming frustrated and sometimes even damaging or destroying the piece before it is completed. In the past few months, his work has become much more abstract, no, more, no longer showing true-to-life subjects or landscapes, but rather conceptual art that is much harder to define or categorize. Whether this sudden interest in abstraction, abstraction was a form of rebellion or consequence of growing redacted, or a source of genuine artistic interest, interest is unknown. As of yesterday, subject refuses to touch his supplies. He claims he will not paint anymore and wishes to leave. The subject's refusal has effectively halted all research. While the team can continue to run tests on the backlog of paintings, they estimate that there is little new information to gain. The subject must continue to paint if work is to proceed. However, the team is concerned that convincing the subject with force or coercion may only entrench him further in his position. Action to be taken. Dr. Jules Marmont, co-head of research and project lead, has suggested that a high dose of redacted be introduced into the subject's food to cure his redacted. If the subject's attitude does not improve, then low doses of redacted will be introduced in order to improve his uh, compliance. No. That's so messed up. It kind of, like, when you hear about the stuff that Jules and his team did to Rudolph Lane, um, it makes a bunch of automated typewriters seem not so bad in comparison. Okay, initial review regarding Booker's writing. The first piece of content produced by the subject is severe, severely disappointing. It is not remotely similar in content to the wake pages we provided as reference. Okay, so now we're back to Diana and her experiments with uh, trying to control the shadow through writing, through mimicking Wake's writing. Why is it so focused on my marriage? Why is Jules the protagonist? Why is it set in an actual lakeside cabin? And what is happening at the end? What the hell is in the sky? Did anyone brief Booker about the concepts he has to write about? The lake house? The shadow? We need him to match Roy's style exactly. It's not going to work if he has no clue what he's writing about. We need to get this sorted. We need progress now. And why isn't he taking this seriously? When I spoke to him, I thought he thought I was an actor. I want him to understand how serious we are. Whatever it takes. Okay, now she's looking a little bit bad again. Continue the story from page ID AW002. Match the tone, style, and content as closely as possible. The crack was an emotional one. A line right through their marriage, their foundation, their lake house. These thoughts and more flooded Jules' mind as he stared out through the lakeside cottage's windows. The sun was setting on a stormy day. Rainy, rain-heavy clouds hung low, weighed down with the burden of purpose. Diana sat in her favorite deck chair, staring out across the lake's rippling surface. He watched the breeze catch her acorn hair, as if sensing his gaze. She turned her head. Jules looked away, flustered, then annoyed with himself for letting her affect him this way. He grabbed the bottle of red wine, poured himself a generous serving, and he kept pouring, his mind distracted by a thought. 
How did we get here? They had been at the lab, running an experiment. Then they were here. Why? He remembered thinking that a break from the lab would give them space to reconnect, to mend the crack, but he couldn't remember ever leaving. Wine was flowing over the rim of his cup, though he didn't even notice. He put down the bottle, scanning the lake. A faint simmer, uh, shimmer hung in the air on the far side of the lake, like light hitting grass. The sort of thing you only noticed if you were looking for it. He felt like he had seen something like this before, but where? Jules! Diana's cry snapped Jules back into the present. She was staring up at the sky in panic. A deep shadow crept across the deck. Jules ran to the door to his wife. Something in the sky? Casting a huge shadow? Password? Oh. Wait, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six? Wow. From Kingston to staff, nut allergies, pie day, missing black rock. Holy shit. From J. Watterson to O. Crag. Jules just sent out a memo asking us to spy on his wife's project. Remember when we just made fun of his stupid project names and science factoids? Simpler times. Crag replied, he really did that? Diana is going to slit his throat if she finds out. Haha, <laughs> those two are such a hot mess. I got drinks with Perry last night. He told me Jules is withholding wake pages from Diana's team. He told her they went missing. Crazy shit. Paula mentioned you two were thinking about asking for a transfer. You'd really leave me all alone here? Watterson replies, we can have weekly gossip calls. Promise. this more retrieval order acquisition team is hereby approved to acquire additional research sub subjects for ongoing study related to project arbitus at the lake house facility prioritize outcomes as ordered below both subjects brought to the lake house for study tamitha booker her work is more commercially successful thus more likely to yield results based on proven cases edward booker less successful than tamitha but theater is more widely recognized as art than true crime novels Observe the subjects at a distance and only move to acquire if the opportunity arises. Under no circumstances can this operation draw the attention of local law enforcement. Signed, Dr. Diana Marmont. Hi, Shamurai. How you doing today? Happy Halloween. Happy Thursday. Subjects writing must feature darkness, water, Marmonts, the lake house, and conflict. Did anyone explain any of this to him? You can't just, you can't just like mimic someone's art. You know? You can't just copy it perfectly. I don't know what she's thinking. I really don't know what he's thinking. Or she. But what I do know is I'm ready to fight. I think I'm ready anyways. Level three. Access. Okay. Let's go say hi to some friends, shall we? Wait, what's... Oh, what's in here? Let's try these doors first. Oh, well, there's the elevator. How do I get in? Ah, uh, well... We have to go through these guys. Wait. That's the elevator? I'm gonna have to go this way first, actually. Oh, God. That glass is thick. We're gonna go in. 
won't open while the floor's on lockdown. Never mind. What is that, Ronald McDonald? Oh my god, what the hell? Lift the level wide lockdown. Okay. Gotta be the control center. Did I not try that door? Well, maybe I didn't try that one door that I need to open. Okay, let me go back. Oh good, another heal. I know I'm gonna need it. Um, this door. This has gotta be it. Well, when we lift the lockdown, all these guys are gonna come out. A higher access card. Finally. Sorry, but I need this. How many paintings did they have this guy make? From painting session on redacted. Designation black circular shape among yellow lines. An uneven circle painted in dark black in the foreground with jagged yellow brown mustard lines behind it. Lines sometimes overlap with each other and or bleed into the black circle. Designation lone tree at night. A dark green tree. Pine standing in a dark landscape, presumably night. Empty road and forest. A dark gray streak across a dark green landscape presumably a forest at night the gray streak is likely to be a road due to its location color and the way its width reduces in line with the perspective note a small white shape in the road could be a page of writing by alan wake relevant teams have been informed and are searching for this site now to attempt page retrieval yellow crescent shape on black canvas a curved yellow shape and a roughly crescent shape painted onto an otherwise empty canvas possibly a crescent moon or banana unfinished piece what does it mean okay red yellow and green circle three uneven circles one red one yellow and one green roughly arranged in a vertical line black black round is black slash gray with dark red streaks along the border of the canvas possibly a traffic light Cityscape with blue gray sky. Gray vertical shape, slightly the skyline of a city. In the bottom third of the canvas was a vivid blue gray sky. Geometric shapes painted in thin white lines can barely be made out among the colors of the sky. All I can say is these people need to get a life. Black void, large variety of black spirals. Oh, spirals are interesting. Brown shape with horns, a brown shape. Vaguely triangular with what are presumably horns expanding from the shape like an animal head, possibly a deer or elk. Black background. Oh, I need a password. Is it one, two, three, four?
one, two, three, four, five, six. I had a feeling it wouldn't work a second time. It's gotta be in here then. Which of these paintings Okay, this one has me kind of stumped. Oh, maybe we need to... Maybe in here we'll find the answer. We oh, be Just one guy. Calendar 2023 September. To all departments, update to security password reset um, policy. Effective September 13th, they must be reset daily. Okay, we've seen this message before. So I feel like we're definitely going to find the password answer in this room. Oh, there's another... Oh, there's another computer. Well, then I don't know. I made that reservation for our anniversary. I certainly never forgot... Was a week from this Friday. Let's take separate cars from the office. Can't have the bosses see us leaving together now that those hypocrites have banned inter-office relationships. A week from this Friday. So it's 9.14... So 22nd, 092223, 23, wait, oh, I don't need a password for this computer. I just found out what happened to Trisha. Jules fucking fired her. I knew it. She was way too vocal in last week's all hands meeting. She had valid concerns. That man is a tyrant. Speaking up about safety is no reason to fire someone. Can you believe this new password policy? What security concerns are we they even talking about? We're a fenced off government bunker in the middle of nowhere. I think they're getting paranoid. Anyway, I set the security terminal's new password like the memo suggested. Our anniversary is the base numbers, then black void. Anniversary is the base numbers, and then black void? And black void is 44. Or is it? Um, yeah, the marms are losing it. Big surprise. I bet Diana set Jewel's background to a big old turd or something. Once again, making their shitty marriage everyone else's problem. The password you set didn't work. Black Void is 44, right? From the list of Lane's paintings. I need to get in or this is going to be a total waste of when a Wednesday. 44 is right, yeah. So I guess you're telling me you don't know when our anniversary is. Well, good luck with that. Today's password is the date of our special unforgettable anniversary plus brown shape with horns love you i maintain that seeing a movie together does not begin a relationship okay so it's 9 22 and then black horns shape with black horns 25 0922 
Oh nine. That's not a nine. That's an upside down nine. Oh nine. Twenty-two. Twenty-five. There. Deactivate lockdown. Oh shit. Lockdown lifted. I wasn't done exploring here, or maybe I was. Hello? You copy? No. no. Turn back. Area is extremely hostile. Run away. All videos. They're all dead. On floor one. I'll need help. Floor one. I'm gonna need help. Lockdown is lifted. There's about at least ten these ugly motherfuckers in this floor with me. But we're pretty well stocked. Okay, let's go. This way. Okay, wish me luck. We're gonna have to fight. It's fighting time. I have two flares. was annoying <clears throat> that uh the flash grenade didn't really do much for me did it okay we need to retreat the other way She kept reloading like I don't want you to reload right now. Maybe I wanted you to reload before, but now I want you to pull out a flare and she's like, no, I must reload. And the reloading every single bullet takes for freaking ever. this game combat can be
Surprise, surprise! My flashlight is being useless again! we good oh god we're clear i can't believe i died twice what an amateur man sorry guys this is, this is my first time playing a video game never played one in my life i'm new at this um i'm, I'm learning i'm learning how to play video games okay all right we gotta reload recoup our bullets because we sure did use a lot I guess there's oh there is new stuff to read. <clears throat> I had a thought today. A possible avenue for further research. When we think of art successfully affecting reality, we always think of Alan Wake and his writing. This could be due to recency bias or, or simply the amount of recorded evidence skewing our opinion. But also I wonder if Writing's very nature is an advantage. Text can describe events in such explicit detail. The story gives the shadow a, how you say, blueprint, a map of what to make real. But not all art is like this. Uh, music, sculpture, dance, music. In our case, a painting. Source material is open to interpretation. How will the shadow choose to interpret it? I think Diana will find the question very interesting. Most likely, she already has an answer. That's why I love her. Well, I'm sorry, but I can't say that the feeling is mutual. I need to check something. Ah, that would explain why the sound like sounds that I was hearing didn't seem to be coming from the right direction that would explain some things Oh look, there's a bunch of canvas. I wonder if these are have been painted on and just turned like why are they turned over? They're framed and everything. Hmm. And this painting's like covered up. I think that's it. No more containers. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me.
almost called her Saga. I have no heal. Oh god. Oh my god. It's so fast. Can my health recharge a little bit? No? Oh, I need to heal so bad. I need to heal so bad. One axe to the face and I'm I'm done. It's over for me. Containers? No. No containers. Security level three. I only have level two access. I need to heal. I need to heal so bad. Okay, we want to get back to level one to help our, our friends out. But is there really no... no Nothing. Oh, oh, oh. A heal. Readings report threshold activity. Readings collected over the last 48 hours show a rising increase in activity stemming from the Cauldron Lake threshold, likely indicating an imminent AWE scenario. The highest recorded reading exceeded the safety limit, necess necessitating a general alert and requesting assistance from the assigned AWE response team. However, no alert or contact with external teams has been made per the recent amends to this procedure. As specified, the monitoring team will take no action until sign-off from either Dr. Marmont or Dr. Marmont has been received. Considering the rate of escalation that recent data indicates, the monitoring team strongly recommends that the AWE response team be contacted immediately. Signed, Harris Cruz, the lead threshold analysis. So, everything that's gone horribly wrong here i think we can uh blame dr mormont and dr mormont mm, did we explore in these places yet Fuck you. My team was on sublevel one. I knew they were in danger. Fuck. I'm just looking for more heals. Damn. What's this? Rudolph Lane. In 2010, Lane was inadvertently involved in AWE 35 while residing at the Cauldron Lake Lodge where he lived under the care of Hartman. Lane was seriously injured during the AWE. He received medical care in Seattle for two months, during which time he was questioned and cleared by FBC staff. After the Cauldron Lake Lodge was seized and closed by the FBC, Lane moved to Watery, Washington, where he currently resides. Recent surveillance confirms he has no known personal relationships or affiliation with paranatural groups. As requested, the observation team has confirmed that Lane continues to paint as of the date of this report. 
and he paints and he paints and he paints and he paints until he can't paint anymore until he turns into a painting he painted so much that he turned into a painting and now he's a very angry painting and he wants to murder us elevator moved oh elevator is here now okay let's go to level one and hope that they have some heels over there Surely Among they will monks, have some heels. Innocent people into tools using the FBC's authority. <laughs> they thought they were untouchable out here, hidden away in the woods. No, actions have consequences, and I'm the consequences. <laughs> that has like, oh shit, Walter White energy. I'm the one who knocks. I'm the consequences. Sub level one. Hello. <laughs> Bastard. Yeah, they did. Jules Marmont killed my team. He was taken by the shadow. I'm sorry. I should get that gun while I'm up here. I just realized I didn't reset my heart rate monitor after my break. Ah, sorry. Okay, well, we came down here. Our team is dead. Ooh, level two security clearance. Let's go save. Which is this way. My heart be flaking. Flaky. Yeah, you know that song? Don't break my heart. My flaky flaky heart <laughs> my achy flaky heart okay I'm sorry I need to stop just doing the map every five seconds so we need to go this way Well, the, I, the door is open, but there's this damn painting in the way. How do I get in the room with that gun? Can't open it from the side. Come on, I got your stupid card. Oh, these panels are blocking the door. Oh, wait, wait. There was something that moved the panel control switch. That'll move the panels around. I mean, that, that name is not very scientific. I mean, who came up with that? Yeah, oh. To my lab and treats me like some kind of assistant. A putain d'assistant, moi! I run the lighthouse! This is my facility! Mine! Bring back Darling! You just walk in here for one week, make some speeches, and then fly back to New York? Uh, espèce de crétin! Prétentieux! The jackass thinks he's a fucking rock star! He is! Did you not hear and the song? Oh, the shadow. The shadow is good. It's evocative. Oh, he made the name Shadow. <laughs> He's just a jealous, spoiled little child. And I will make it so everyone can see this. I, I will make it so no one even remembers his name. To see, to see his imbecile, huh? They all think I am a, a pencil pusher. They think I do not have the mind for such work. Eh bien, ils verront. Ils verront! I will take what they think is possible. And I will break it. <laughs> I 
he seems stable. That did not seem very fair. That name is not very scientific. I mean, who came up with that? Yes, I'm pretty sure it was playing on hard mode. I have no heals. Oh my god. What? They, I don't see them until they're already attacking me. am I even going? I can't even run! Go, 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 How do I get in the room with that gun? Oh no, wait, I have to go. the door oh my god give me heals i don't want that okay this should get me down to sub level five i don't want to go to sub level and five this should get me past any other problems Are you sure? Charge the Black Rock launcher by holding down R2. Charge shots go farther and deal more damage on impact. Oh. Progress update 5. Got the firing mechanism working. It's throwing the test projectiles a good distance. Turned out pretty nicely. The fittings between the grenade launcher and custom components are a bit loose. No proper lath here, but at least it works. Now I need some actual black rock for the test. I know there's some on sub-level 5, but the acting inventory supervisor doesn't get access to that floor. Next steps, source black rock. Okay, well, we can be happy that they got this gun all situated. Oh, a heal. Okay, we'll use that. We're still in pretty bad shape here, though.
password. Zero two one two one nine. I'm surprised I could read that tiny little thing. Okay, Pi Day, sensitivity reminder, nut allergies, missing black rock, reassignment. Hello, Carla. I have decided to reassign you from Project Ramness, Ram, Ramness to Inventory Management. Your title will be changed from Senior Researcher to Acting Inventory Supervisor effective immediately. You may find this change sudden, but I have no doubt someone with a nut allergy like yourself will prefer to work alone in the inventory booth than out in the open where any dangerous pies may be waiting to hurt you. Perhaps some hard work will keep you from making any more unfounded HR complaints. What the fuck? I don't think that's legal. There was a crack in the lake house. The Marmonts had let the lake in. But the water could not flow. I became trapped, stagnant, went bad. The truth was controlled here. The art was not art, just <clears throat> content for the experiment. The contrived overlap rebounded on itself, compressing, compounding, reflecting, and refracting. An urban legend and a murder in constant imbalance, cause and effect hopelessly entangled, arranged wrong, the dream logic flawed. The feedback loop doubled and redoubled out of control the pressure kept building looking for a release <sighs> okay so we need to get back to the elevator Elevator. It's blocked, I think. <clears throat> Elevator will be just straight that way. Okay, that did not work. It requires a minimum charge to launch. Finally, something works on these bastards. Elevator. Marmont into a hostile, paranatural entity. That made everything simpler. No arrest, no paperwork. I could put him down like the monster he was. Damn. Sub level two.
Okay, is there any... Okay, we need key card three to go access this. Are we gonna have to deal with those... those things again? Looks like we're in the clear. Oh, video. Oh, um, what's with the music? Blame was found dead in the cell this morning. He turned into a painting. An unfortunate setback. Selfish, happy, or the wife. So, we have a painter and a painting that can talk. <sighs> Clearly connected. But Lane was dead before any of this even happened. charge it. I don't have time. <laughs> okay. How do we get more ammo for this thing? There's more, more to explore. From Dr. Jules Marmont to Project Ramnus staff. Subject, status of proje Project Arbitus. As head of research of the lake house, it is important that I am informed of all proceedings at this facility since the other Dr. Marmont is failing to provide me with details about her team's progress. I ask that you all seek information from members of her team Anyone who comes to me with details on Project Arbitus' current progress will be rewarded. Gosh. These two are both just awful. Okay, so let's go back to... 
level uh, three. Yeah, level three. There's some. There's a bunch of containers. Apparently, I could get if I could find them. And a couple rooms that we can check out as well. Where is the elevator? Elevator moved. Level three. Yeah, this is definitely taking me more than two and a half hours. <laughs> finish it today yeah that's fine we'll finish it up tomorrow okay it says there's containers let me see if I can find them nobody come and try to attack me right now please here's one This is, uh, you know, you want to take your time. Something like this. It's just kind of frustrating that it says there's a container here, and I, for the life of me, there, there's nothing here. Like, there's just a blackboard, and there's nothing here. Okay, that is not fair. I think you just, if you run, then they're gonna get you. I think I just, I can't be running when they're around. Oh, I gotta... Every time I get a heal, I have to use it immediately. I want to be in a position where I have some... Some spares, but... Doesn't seem like it's gonna happen. That marker was confusing you as well? Did you ever figure it out? It says there's more... This floor loops, so some containers are on specific loops. Ah. That makes sense, and that's really annoying. <laughs> okay, no running. Well, scary music went away, so we might be safe, but... drip from the ceiling as Diana stared at the folders stacked on her workstation. Each one was a branch of research. True. Some were thin, some thick. They represented years of her life, her work, dissecting the act of creation and examining the bloody pieces, bringing in live subjects had been her idea. Trip. Bureau leadership denied their request. But after HQ went into lockdown, she took advantage of the chaos and got her artists. Jules had whined about the optics. Diana ignored him. Now in her office below the waterline of Cauldron Lake, she considered how to proceed. Jules was convinced the page they had found would come true. It promised disaster. A situation out of control. Impossible. 
Diana was always in control. Trip. Trip. She needed answers. She needed to quantify, to define, to control. She needed to take control. Hmm. Is that all there is? So what did we Water learn from, from this? The ceiling as Diana stared at the can you stop talking though so I can just re like was skim it right here? Trip. They denied her request. Some thin. Some she took advantage thin. of the chaos. They represented years of her life. Her work. Dissecting the act of creation and examining Bringing in live the subjects. pieces. Bringing in live subjects had been her idea. Trip. Bureau leadership denied their request. Okay. If I run, will they come and get me? Interesting music. No, do the thing. Do the thing. Jules' team has found new pages written by Wake. He must have gotten Rudolph Lane painting again. Bullshit pedestrian methodology cannot produce results before mine. I have to go faster, no matter the cost. We're still behind our projections. The more the machines can produce, the closer we can calibrate them to wake style. The proper calibration takes a lot of raw material and production is slow. We're changing directions. The hypothesis remains unchanged. Imitating Wake's writing style will allow us to generate art capable of linking with the threshold. Our live subject should match Wake's style much faster. People can be calibrated just like a machine. I can't tell which one of the, these two I feel is more, like, crazy. I think they're both equally just batshit crazy and insane. To use art with the power, the shadow, we must first design, define art. Thesis, does a critic define what is art? Where do we find critics? Kidnap, lure in critics? Or the audience? Are we the audience? Must we like the art? What is the role of an artist? Who is an artist? If you believe you are an artist, are you one? Do you need to be good? Does quality matter? Define an artist. A drug-using bum? Often wears a turtleneck and drinks red wine. Left-wing political views. Danger. If left-wing politics made real by the shadow, any right-wing artists not for abstract art or poems what she needs to stop trying to scientify and like scientific method art like She's just trying to objectify art. And that's just not going to work. She just doesn't get it. Lady, you just don't get it. Oh my god.
Good thing these things are slow as fuck. Okay. <laughs> No running allowed. Two shots left. I know. Are they going to give me more ammo somewhere? Um. I want to. I want to end the stream now. So I hope we will find a save point. Pretty soon here. On the fourth level. Maybe I should go to a different floor and save. I don't know. What if more of those monsters show up? Homeboy wants to talk again. What do you know about Rudolf Lane? The Marmonts were holding a painter here. Rudolf Lane. Does that ring a bell? The shame of a man. I think you are Ru Rudolf Lane. I think you are or were Rudolf Lane. Himself! A self-portrait! Make them see! Look, I might be able to help you. But I need information, cooperation... No brush! Just himself! No brush, just himself. Oh. He didn't use a brush to paint, he just used himself and became the paint. Rudolph Lane was That's dying. deep. Both murderer and victim. Red hues ran down his hands. Was it scarlet? Or cadmium? Too vivid to be maroon. Names don't matter, he decided. Color was pure. Inspiring. For the first time in years, he wanted to paint a self-portrait to say goodbye. No, to make them remember, to make them see what they did. He slapped his hands against the wall to steady himself. He began from there. No brush, just himself. The strokes were crude, violent, the pain misery and hate he'd endured there the fire in his eyes and hands and bones all spread into the shape of a man it was quick natural like a heart attack he slumped down to the floor smiling at the anger he left smeared across the wall what in the world did he just like fling his body against the the canvas or the wall or whatever just like smacking his head blood going everywhere i don't understand cadmium is an element you didn't know it could also be a color i thought it was a chocolate egg no, i'm just kidding that's the cadbury <laughs> hey surfing frog Welcome! Hope you're feeling better. Hope you're doing well. I'm not. This game is scary. I'm trying to get to a save point. Let's see. Do I have a map of this floor? Oh, I don't really know what's in this floor. We have a Dr. Marm Marmont's office. Oh. Whoops, I guess I need to go back to the elevator. I'm gonna run. I think it's safe. Okay, let's try again for the fourth floor, please. What 
did the ground floor have again? Oh, nothing. Sub level four. Okay, we got an auto save. I don't like. I don't like relying on auto saves though. But how much longer until I can get to a a hard manual save? Hmm. This looks like a. I don't I don't even think there's a, a save place in here. You think there's a safe in the bright room? Oh, maybe. In the bright room ahead? Like way out there? Oh, nice office. Is it? Um But how many enemies are in between me and the save room? Ah, here we go. Okay, perfect. We'll finish this tomorrow and we'll also play m some metaphor tomorrow. After, after we finish up. All right, so we just made it to level four. Some poor dude got turned into a painting What? I feel like there's an extra door here. <laughs> What's going on in this locker? I open the locker door and it's like, surprise, there's another locker door. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm not sure if that was intentional or not. It feels like a bug. I thought I saw that there was something. Oh, there was a container, but it's gone. Oh gosh, maybe it is bugged. Maybe there was an item in here, but now it's... Huh. I'll try reloading, but I think we'll be fine. It's whatever. Alright, let's go. Come on! I'm guessing there's some not nice things in here. The archive, whoa, what the heck is up with this ceiling? Are they getting ready for deer fest? I got another bullet for my my black rock gun here, I think. Nice sounds going on. like I I probably shouldn't run because then one of those things is gonna come get me and I don't want to get got you know
I'm sorry, I kind of just gave up on life right okay, there. Black rock powder. I need to keep an eye out for more of these. I thought I was under the impression that let me try this locker again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it opened. <laughs> Still no items in there though. Uh, I was under the impression that if I kept walking, as long as I don't run, I would be safe from those guys. And I'm not safe. <laughs> and they are so scary. Uh, they didn't give me a heal this time. I had a heal last time. This is where he got me. Were there any more items to pick up? I think that it was just those two containers. Oh my god, hello? Take some deep breaths. I think it's safe to say there's at least one more of those things in there. <laughs> Please let me out. Let's play metaphor. You know what? We don't need to finish this. I think we've seen enough.
health. Okay. It's good. Diana sat in her office. A weak death light kept the darkness around her at bay. The silence of the archive suited her. She scowled at a series of graphs when the room turned red. Alarms blared. Breach detected. Then the walls of the archives rumbled. A tremor in the bones of the facility. One by one, the red lights went dark as a wave of nothing poured in from all sides. Diana stood, but there was nowhere to run. The sheer depth of the darkness terrified her. She realized they had done this. Her and Jules. Their ambition. Their hatred. Her desk lamp flickered. In the brief moment before it all went dark, she thought of Jules' smile. That's not good. And then they became taken. guy go <gasps> more health it kind of scares me though because like when the game gives me health it's like you're gonna need health health you got bro man those guys with the big clubs or whatever are really tough well i don't i don't want to use my heels on one of those guys but i guess it can't be helped Stop doing that? <laughs> Whatever. I don't have time to deal with you. You don't want to fight? Then fine. I'm just going to go my own way.
That's what you get. Stop with the sounds. Oh my god. Have I gone in a circle? <gasps> Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Do they come through the walls? Where the fuck is it? I hear it, but I can't see it! like rematerialize like disappear and I, I'm thinking not though I think he has to physically walk to me weird why did he oh man okay well at least we got here safe please shut that off that's surely dmca right Sorry, can't take any chances. Follow up report regarding Redacted. On the morning of Redacted, the musician held at the lake house for research purposes was discovered missing from her cell. Security footage of the cell from the night before was damaged by electrical interference of an undetermined nature. Blank no or Redacted known professionally as Redacted had produced a song called Six Deep Breaths during her time at the lake house that was considered very promising as research material by the Marmonts. Redacted somehow used her song to orchestrate her escape. Efforts to find her were brief, with any wider search considered an unacceptable risk to the lake house's mandate of confidentiality. Action be to be taken. A. An investigation is currently ongoing as to whether any of the lake house staff at the lake house were involved in the disappearance of redacted b an investigation is currently ongoing as to whether the subject used the song they created as a re redacted means of escape c all material related to and work produced by redacted will be stored in the archive for future future reference d 
Online checks for the public reappearance of redacted are to be performed weekly. Known web addresses associated with them in the past. Known addresses with para-utilitarian para AWA activity. And blah, blah, blah. Huh, I don't... I mean, I know the old gods of Asgard were musicians, but I don't know of a, a lady singer that was at the, uh, the place. Project Arbitus, which was, uh, Diana's, yeah, her project. The definition of art, a study. To truly comprehend the threshold within Cauldron Lake, we must first understand its attraction to art. However, even the definition of art is as varied as the range of crafts that fall under the name. To that end, we must open a track of research dedicated to defining and quantifying art, ultimately rendering the concept into a unit of measurement. To begin, let's not try to understand humanity's definition of art, but rather Cauldron Lake's preferences. Past cases of Cauldron Lake's threshold affecting reality have centered on writing. Wake, 2010. Cinematography is also suspected, though not directly confirmed. Zane, 1970. What about other mediums? We will need to test the viability of painting, poetry, music, photography, sculpting, dance, and so on, not to mention the myriad of genres or methods within each medium. And what about crafts outside of the most common artistic expressions? Does any act of creation on a high level of expertise merit the title of art? Baking, woodworking, etc.? What about non-physical mediums? Why is music an art and philosophy is not? Does something become art due to its medium, its quality, or perhaps simply through the intent of its expression, or an equation made up of all three? What would be the order of importance? What thresholds must each factor reach for the equation to succeed? Those are actually some very interesting questions. Clearly there is much to determine. We must begin with developing a methodology using a vast range of arts and general creative endeavors, both physical and mental, then find a way to test their potential connection to Cauldron Lake's threshold. Cauldron Lake is an enigma with many layers to pull away if we are to understand it and ultimately bring it under control. The work will take years. Zanzibar, thank you for the gift sub to Steel Lad. Um, reminds me of the our video games art discussions. We can discuss right now. I have the answer. Are video games art? Yes. End of discussion. On the path that leads to this office room was a switch you missed that lets you turn the lights out and you can find an Easter egg. Well, there's a reason that I ran straight to this place because those things are out there those things are out there and they're trying to get me and i don't have any ammo you want me to turn the lights out <sighs> you would think it's that easy but there are people who ve vehemently deny it i don't understand like people say that literature is art music is art film is art and video games are many of those things in one and more so how are they not whoops i will check it out um clamp after we read this stuff. The lake house was underwater. The Marmont's ambitions had finally been realized. Jules had dangled the painting like a lure and hooked an ocean. Their machines couldn't hold it. A fault in the system. The water rushed in, filled it until it was ready to burst. All their successes and failures had led them here. The work 
had made them into monsters. But the lake house was still theirs. It always would be. They could feel an outsider trespassing in their labs. I know you're here. They called out to the dark. They hunted floor by floor. They wouldn't let the intruders stop their progress. This was their home. Their beloved tomb beneath the waves. Was it really underwater? Password. There seems to be a password right here. Six, eight, five, two, nine, eight. Is it email time? Yay, my favorite time. Okay, ooh, five years ago. From Jules to Diana. Diana, I just received a letter from Darling about a request you made to bring in live subjects. What were you thinking? Do you know how that looks? Diana says, what did he say? Was it approved? Jules replies, no, he refused. You know, protocol does not allow this sort of thing. And he says he will be making a trip to the lake house to check in on us soon. Like we are children. This is very bad for our reputation, Diana. Please, if you have an idea like this, come to me first. <coughs> Again, oh. Oh, this is where things started going bad. Well, somewhere in between five years and six months ago. <laughs> so these are like from Jules to Diana, etc. Um, this is signed Jules. This one is signed Dr. Jules Marmont, co-head of research. So like somewhere between this five years ago and six months ago. Probably shortly after this email, they started to, like, separate, um, as, as a married couple. Diana, considering the details on the new page we have found, I believe we need to abandon the research into Alan Wake's writing. We must not endanger our staff, says Jules. Uh, she replies, don't pretend like you are worried about them, Jules. You're just looking out for your own ass. The fact that the pages are detailing future events means they are the correct method. We have to learn how to harness their power and dictate events to meet our goals, not wakes, whatever those may be. The ATDs are producing better and better results. We just need to keep doing the work. <laughs> Jules replies, No, Diana, I'm looking at the page right now. Constant imbalance, out of control, a crack in the lake house. If we continue with this research, we will lose our facility, perhaps more than that. What is the point of succeeding if we are dead? I am a head of research here, and I forbid you from proceeding. Diana replies, You can't forbid anything. You're not going to keep me from the most important work of my life. If you're too much of a coward to keep pushing ahead, then I'll finish what we set out to do here alone. We have plenty of ongoing lines of research. I suggest you pick one and leave Wake's writing to me. You always needed me more than I needed you. And then two days ago, official complaint from P. Greenberg to J. J. Watterson. Hello, Dr. Marmont. I received your formal complaint about Jules' behavior. You claim he is maliciously keeping research material away from your team, but he says they have simply been misplaced. I understand you are frustrated, but I recommend giving his team a week or so to find the pages and return them to your team. If the, this issue persists at that point, then let's discuss your desire to escalate the issue. Does that sound agreeable? Sincerely, Harry Kingston. Oh, guess that's it. Okay, so if I die out here, Clam, you're going to be in trouble, buddy.
experiment tomorrow. I can't find the details anywhere. That bastard is hiding them. All those years, he steals credit from my ideas and my work, and now he's scared of being plagiarized? Oh, that is really fucking rich, Jules. Oh, and he's reportedly misplaced the manuscript pages I need for my work. Suddenly, the exact pages that I need to reference have just vanished. He is actively impeding critical bureau research. I mean, if he can do that, then what is stopping me from going down to that lab? And I, and I don't know, just inverting the amplifiers or, or misaligning the receivers or both. It's the same thing in principle. He booked the lab. Some big experiment tomorrow. I can't find the details anywhere. That bastard is hiding them. All those years, he steals credit from my ideas and my work, and now he's scared of being plagiarized? Oh, that is really fucking rich, Jules. Oh, and he's reportedly misplaced the manuscript pages I need for my work. Suddenly, the exact pages that I need to reference have just vanished. He is actively impeding critical bureau research. I mean, if he can I really that, would like to look at the rest of this room, but I need her to shut to up. That lab. And, I, and I don't know, just inverting the amplifiers or, or misaligning the receivers or both. This doesn't look like Clint's style. It's the same thing Damn in it. principle. Different artists. From Casper to Dr. Marmont's. Something to get you started. The lab. Some big I can't, I, I don't understand how I'm supposed to read this like with anywhere. her yapping. That bastard is hiding them. All those years oh. he steals credit. Wait. Turn it all off. Okay. Let's read now. Peace and quiet. I can't stop thinking about this new direction for the lake house after I got back to New York. I hope pivoting to researching Threshold Redacted's reality manipulation effect wasn't too much of a shock for you. It seemed like your work on containment was stalling. Bro, get your text out of here! So I decided you all could use a fresh start. Here's something to get you started. Some drawings made by a certain redacted a while back, files 6D001 through 4, found in the attached envelope. Test for any reaction they may trigger with the shadow. Still don't like how unscientific that name is. You can designate the artist as P6 in your records. I expect regular updates. Go team! So we have these different drawings, a tree, a falling person, see lots of red being used. What's this? plagiarized oh that is really fucking quick lesson rich, on Jules. light switch cords if you find oh, one pull it three times the manuscript pages i need for my work suddenly the exact pages that i need to reference have just vanished he is active the ocean view Ooh. motel is a dimensional intersection the doors from the lobby can lead anywhere but i didn't end up in the lobby this time which was definitely unusual. I love this place. No monsters in this in the hotel Ocean View Hotel, right? Please.
Panopticon? But the Panopticon is a headquarters. Yeah. Not villain. I guess it makes sense that the, he's not the only person they put in some kind of hor horrible cage. Okay, so this is P6. I'm Agent Kieran Estevez, Federal Bureau of Control. Identify yourself. It's quiet. Who are you? Oh. Is it Dylan? It's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Why are you in a cell? This is an FBC containment unit. Why is the Bureau detaining you? I'm where I belong. Everyone I meet here is either a painting or a paracriminal. It is Dylan. He didn't have a beard before, though, did he? Because that, when I saw that, I was like, oh, it's somebody else. Dylan, what you doing here? There's a sign over there for the Panopticon. The Panopticon's only in New York, in HQ. Is this the oldest house? I think that's where I am. So you are inside the oldest house. Is anyone else alive? I can't. Don't hear me. It's a waste of time. What happened to HQ? Hey, this is important. FBC headquarters went dark four years ago. What exactly happened in there? It's been four years. We were attacked. No, no, not again, not yet, no, 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 no. Hey, hey, stay with me, stay with me. Okay. okay. Where does this guy poop? Attacked by what? What attacked the oldest house? I need to know. Something's changing. Outside. Can you feel it? I can hear it. It's getting worse. You can't stay, can you? Hold on. No. The phone will I need to know if I can... Tell Jesse I tried. I really did. Trippy. He booked the lab. Some big experiment tomorrow. Damn I can't it, find this the details lady. anywhere. That bastard is hiding them. All those years he steals credit from my IQ. Will this shut the bitch up? So that was the Easter egg that you wanted me to find, Clamp, or was that it? He seems a lot more sane now than he did when we met him in the game. A control to Easter egg. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I'm 
missed a container? Of course I did. Of course I did. Oh, I wonder if it's when the lights are out. It says it's right here on this desk. Did I listen to this? September 13th, 2023. Notes regarding the concept of the tortured artist. A romanticized image of the sensitive artistic temperament, yes. But there may be truth in the cliche. It's no secret Rudolf Lane has been unhappy here for years. But uh, the aggregate data shows his art's viability score trending upward over time. If Jules hadn't neglected to hold regular psychological exams, then we could have quantified the subject's emotional state, creating a sort of distress rating to compare against the art score. I'll make this a sub-goal of my study of Edward Booker. Once we set the variables and establish a control reading of his art and mental state, then we can begin inducing negative emotion. Limited food and water, perhaps. What? Increasingly tight living space. This is how Jules lost his subject, though. You need to be careful not to leave any sharp objects in Booker's cell. These people are demented. Let me see if I can get the uh, container. have to listen to her one more time. The big experiment tomorrow. I can't find the oh. details anywhere. There's the elevator. Run for it. Woo. Okay. Level five. You think they mentioned that the oldest Oh Jesus uh, one, two, three, four. Sublevel five. Five, six. Five, six, five. Shut down the experiment. You think they mentioned that the oldest house is missing? Uh, you see, I don't remember. I'm trying to remember exactly how control ended, and I'm just like, I, it's the details are eluding me right now. The marmots had opened the door into Cauldron Lake's threshold. It was forced. It was unstable. Shutting the experiment down was the only option. been wanting to do that for years. Oh, God. Oh, God. Did we come at a bad time? Are we interrupting something? I... Okay. Can we stop? I... Oh, hi. Typical fucking 
damn those marmots. Ooh, hi. She's fast. She just dodged that. bothered by the flare at all. But it's really difficult to get any loot in this. Oh my god. to do with some equipment or something. Oh! I did not see her there. Um... Boy. I'm gonna open some of these.
Okay. We gotta get away from this guy. up there. be down there. God. I thought it was going to hit her and not him. Do I have to 
shotgun? No, not really. things. the hardest fight of my life hurry up to hell with this pull lever you're angry i get it uh they've never given me a choice like this before you know what let's talk to her you're angry the marmons did to you to rudolph lane i will do whatever i can to make sure this kind of thing doesn't happen again the putrid weight he could never wash away! The threshold is tearing itself apart. I need to shut this down. The Marmonts are dead. I, I don't know if uh, that's any sort of consolation, but it's done. The pain, it was all over him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know you didn't make a choice here. It's not fair, but I have to shut this threshold down before it fractures. That was intense. Estevez stood in the forest just outside of Bright Falls. She watched her team detain Alan Wake and Ilmo Kosky by stuffing them into black SUVs. She realized this was the moment Wake had been writing in the vision she had seen. The story was coming true. She pushed the thought out of her head. It had been a good tip, a way to find Wake. Nothing more. Alan Wake! After the threshold event collapsed, I was back at Cauldron Lake. Homeboy tripping out back there. <laughs> that was somewhere else. I saw Alan Wake there. He was writing about me finding him in Bright Falls, in the woods. It was a good tip. I called the surviving members of my team, and I told them to meet me there. You know, these cases, they never get less ambiguous or an easier but this one this this was tough because protocol says entities like the taken are monsters threats but the marmots were monsters way before the shadow got to them so at the end of the day what's the difference
It's over. <laughs> that was legitimately like scary in some places. Every time one of those we wrote so many things. Uh, Slender Man guys came, popped out at me. <laughs> it never got any easier. Thank you guys so much for watching my playthrough of the Lake House DLC. Unfortunately, as far as I know, as far as we know, there's not going to be any more Alan Wake 2 DLCs coming out unless they announce something else. But we'll probably just have to be waiting for the next game, which is maybe going to be Control 2. But whatever it is, I'm really excited. And I know it's going to be a long and difficult wait, but it is going to be worth it. In the meantime, there's a lot of games to play. Uh, this DLC was really scary. I screamed a lot and I... When we play these horror games, I really need to uh, have like a scream counter, I think, because I think we could get a lot of use out of something like that. And there were definitely some screams in this one. Those guys that come came out of the walls, they were horrific. And I, I did not like it when they caught me. There were a lot of things to read and there were also a lot of like audio files to listen to and the video files were always they're always really cool and the characters in these games are always so interesting so i'm i'm a super big fan of darling it was really nice to see him again and then the marmonts both of them were uh very entertaining to watch and it, really interesting characters as well and i had a really good time with this hope you guys did too thank you guys again and I'll see you guys in the next playthrough. Until then, take care and bye-bye.